Another one that I, I, I liked, I made a lot kind of growing up but as I was uh, coming up and making food for uh, uh, my family and stuff like that when I was, when I was a kid, when I was experimenting. Um, uh, as, well, as my mom used to say, I would uh, just cook anything that wasn't bolted down. Look, a quick mushroom pasta. Uh, again, utilizing, again, all things that you find at the, at the store. Whatever dry pasta you want, don't let the brands tell you what to buy. Just whatever you can afford, whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. This is uh, spaghetti. We're going to use the spaghetti. So we're going to do a little, little mushroom spaghetti. But the cool part about this one is we're, it's not going to be a tr uh, traditional red sauce that you would think it would be. The, the base of it uh, uh, is going to be mushroom and white wine and butter and a little bit of uh, uh, Parmesan, but there, there will be some diced tomatoes in there as well, just for some acidity as well. The first thing we want to do is we want to start cutting uh, quite a bit of mushrooms. Uh, these are just regular white buttons. You can use whatever mushroom you want. You, you, can, get from, you can go from black trumpets to chanterelles to buttons and everything in between. A local lobster mushroom, whatever mushroom you want to use, you find, go for it. I like to trim the base a little bit. Keep this stuff, it's great for stocks. Uh, uh, you can roast them, uh, make sauces with them. Again, we operate in a zero waste environment around this camp. And again, you can cut, you can cut these mushrooms any way you want. If you want to leave them whole like that, you want to big, you can. You can come back around and you can do that. While you're doing this, very important to have your pan already on and hot because you, you, you want this hot. You want the pan hot, you want to get, you would like to get some color on these, uh, on these mushrooms. So we're going to go a combination of canola and extra virgin. And you may say, Chef, that looks like a lot of oil. The mushrooms, they're going to soak it all up. So pan is smoking. Careful not to burn yourself. We're going to leave them there for a second so they, they can sear, get some color. Regular vine ripe tomato. Gonna go in half. Gonna go in quarters. Okay. Then we're gonna do something kind of fancy here. My mom would never appreciate this, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take out the inside, the seed sack. For what we're doing, we don't want that. But definitely save that. Lots of juice in there. You can do all kinds of things with that. You can make vinaigrettes, all kinds of stuff. And then we're going to come back and we're just going to cut them in diamonds. If we were in the restaurant, these would be concassade, which simply means to blanch real quick and then peel the outer skin off. But we're not doing that because we're at home, pretending to be at home. I used to do a dish with just, with just the hearts of these in tuna. We'd take the seed sack, the seed sack out, clean them all up, and then slice raw tuna and then put each one on top with a couple uh, dabs of uh, uh, gray salt and uh, soy sauce. Amazing. Again, this is all about quick meals that mom, dad can do, teenage kids can do, really, really quickly with no time. And they're starting to get some color. I'm gonna give them a quick shake, like so. Okay, and now I'm gonna add the pasta. This dry pasta is gonna take probably 12 minutes, I think. We'll see. Four of you, I would go half of this. What they say? I never get this dried pasta stuff correct. Oops, see what I mean? Salted boiling water going. See the other half. Cool thing, you can break this up and you can use it in like chow mein, all kind of fun stuff. Or if my kid found out, he tried to eat it raw, used it three different times, and that didn't go over so well. Mushrooms, we gotta begin to get a little bit of color. It's gonna add a little bit of chili flake. Maybe a little more to it. If you notice, I have not added any salt. You don't ever wanna add any salt to mushrooms when you're sauteing them, because you're gonna pull out a bunch of moisture. Some mushrooms, like chanterelles or other mushrooms, will naturally pull out uh, salt. So you just wanna, uh, I mean, salt, moisture. So you just wanna wait, let them do their thing. They're starting, I can hear them, they're starting to dry up, which is what, what we want. I have this whole cooking thing, right? They tell you to cook with all your senses, right? I try and tell people that all the time. Use all your senses when you're cooking. So this is starting to get to what, look like what I want. So here's the fun part. 
We're gonna add our tomatoes. That roasted garlic that we, that we, lo we love so much. We're gonna put a little bit of that, not too much of this. Now you could add rosemary, you could add thyme, you could add spinach, you could add a thousand different things to this uh, 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 if you want. Uh, but we're not doing that. And for this, this next part, you just want to watch your face a little bit. You are, you are adding alcohol, a little bit of uh, white wine, quarter cup, you know, one for yourself, one for the, you know, the dish is what they say, right? Now here's where I would season it. Small pinch of salt. Whatever, this part, a lot of people, where they go wrong is they, they season this part heavily um, and forget that they've also seasoned their pasta water. So when you're adding your pasta back to it, it's gonna make it salty. So just be really, really careful when you're seasoning that like that. Boom. Now we're just let, kind of letting this do this thing, letting all the flavors marry a little bit, let that reduce down a little bit. When this reduces down by another like third, I am, I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, heavy cream to it. And I'm just, I'm literally gonna add a touch of a heavy cream, maybe a tablespoon, a teaspoon. I don't want too, too much. I don't want it to be over the top crazy. I still want it to be light. The heavy cream is going to give it some body and uh, uh, allow it to thicken up. What do they say, the taste, or what do they, what do, they do? What do they say? You can throw it at the wall or something crazy too and all the things, I don't know. Not quite there. I'm not that fancy. I don't throw stuff at the walls, not anymore. Then we're just gonna make a mess. Make sure we get all that pasta out of there. And a touch of the pasta water. While that's finished cooking, cut up, cut up a little bit of some butter. Ready. Just a little butter, okay? Not a lot, just a little bit. And we're only gonna add a couple, a couple drops of this in there as well. One of the tricks of pasta, you really want to work the pan quite a bit. Beat up the pasta a little bit so you work the starch out. You can always come back if it gets too thick on you. One or, one or two of those and you're good to go. Now if you were adding spinach, this would be when you would add your spinach. You want to even add some fresh basil, this is where you, where you, where you would do that as well. Growing up, this was always my job. I liked, I liked it, making the mess. Big bowl of pasta right on everything else. As I'm blocking the camera, sorry. Let's hit it with a bunch of fresh Parmesan. And you can, you can do Parmesan, you can do burrata, you can do really kind of whatever cheese you feel comfortable with doing. And having fun, it's food. Don't take it too seriously. Fresh herbs if you wanted to. You can even take this with a microplane and microplane it, but I lost my microplane somewhere. like with everything. Fresh that. Dinner for four. In 14 minutes. Enjoy.